Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Curry Russell, and I'm absolutely thrilled that you took the time to be on this information. We got people from all over the country in this room right now. I'm looking at some really, really friendly faces, people I've known for quite a while. Some of them I've known uh, for a very, very short period of time, but I'm glad that you took the time out of your day to be here, and we're going to talk all about Instagram today. So I was looking up, I Googled, right? Does anybody ever Google anything? All right, give me, show me your hands if you Google stuff. So I Googled 2019 Instagram statistics and I found a website and it's showing me that, you know, there's already billions of people on Instagram. And this little chart that I'm looking at, and I actually, I'll share my screen so you can take a look at what I'm looking at. And right here, I'm gonna share this screen. And as you can see, this page talks all about the, the demographics for 2018, since we're just in January of 2019, showing you know, that Instagram is already the third highest social media platform there is. Monthly active users, 700 million active users. Uh, top countries that are using it, United States is literally the top of that, of that food chain. Age range, 18 to 29-year-olds and 30 to 49-year-olds. This is an incredible age bracket to be, be in. 38% more women than men uh, on Instagram. Income brackets, uh, some college, 37% is the highest. $50,000 to $74,900 per year income brackets. Here's an incredible post that shows the best time to post on Instagram. Uh, it, you know, to Mondays, early, early, early in the morning is the best time. Tuesday, 5 a.m., Wednesday, 5 a.m., and then throughout the afternoon on Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday, and then on weekends, Saturday, it's like throughout the day. But let me tell you, this information is outstanding. If you're looking for a website or any website, just Google, Instagram statistics, 2019, it's the first link that pops up. But let me, let me pull off the share for just a second because I want to talk to you for one more minute. Instagram is a tricky beast, right? You can't post your links anywhere. You can't click on links anywhere. It's really, really complicated to use Instagram to build your business unless you have more than 10,000 followers and you get the store type little features that they give you. It, and so you need to create massive, massive engagement. And does, ever, does everybody know that you can send private messages on Instagram? Instagram has an incredible response rate if you're using the DM feature, the direct message feature. Does everybody use it? I see some hands, I see some hands. Nope, I see some nopes. I see some nopes. Okay, guys. Have you, has anybody ever automated anything in Facebook before? Or Instagram before? I'm sorry, I don't mean to say Facebook. Has anybody ever automated? If, if I showed you, so a couple years ago, I used another tool that allowed me to do some really, really fun stuff. And I created a massive number of engagements. I got my, got my followers up to, you know, five or 6,000 people in a matter, short period of time. Um, I started playing with another tool. And I got my followers up now over 11,000. And that's why I'm having this webinar right now is because I know the power of, that Instagram can have because you can target market by using hashtags. So if you're building a business outside of uh, your, your job, and let's say that you were selling handbags, I'm just going to make all of this up. If you're selling handbags, there are all kinds of niche markets that you can use with hashtags. You can literally go up to the search bar and say hashtag, uh, you know, coach purse or something, whatever. I'm going to make up everything that I'm, I'm saying. So you, you go to the coach purse ser search and now you're seeing all these coach purse posts. Does everybody understand what I'm talking about? Everybody with me? So now you've got all kinds of people that you can follow and once you follow them, it gives you the option to message them. So you can start building rapport with people specifically by hashtag searching your target market. Is, is, is there anybody confused as to what I'm saying? Mary Beth, you're not allowed to be confused yet. Don't be confused. 
so so this the the whole point of this is there is what if i told you there was a tool that you could use that you could literally type in your target market hashtags and it would automatically start following the people over and over and over and over and over again specifically on your hashtag and then what if i told you that same tool that it would automatically like posts inside your target market region and even start commenting on their pictures automatically for you how much value would that build for your for your business for your person like for you as a brand if you were commenting and getting engagement with people and and what if i showed you how your messages in your comments could lead to them DMing you, them messaging you asking for information. Does anybody think that would add any value whatsoever? If like you, you just created a set it and forget it system. Does that make sense? I like set it and forget it. I really do. I like to create a, a, a system, put it in place and let it work for me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you today about two tools. The first tool is called InstaRanker. You don't have to write this down. I'm going to put it in the chat group. I'm going to give you all the information in just a few minutes. But the first tool is called InstaRanker. The second tool is going to be called Viral Caption. Viral Caption is an, the, probably the most powerful Instagram tool I've ever seen because it does something incredibly special. And we're going to talk about that on the second half of this webinar. The first half is going to be entirely about InstaRanker, which is an automation bot tool that you can completely develop. Like, and I know that word develop is a scary word. Don't allow it to be scary. It's incredibly simple. So who's ready to jump into seeing what the power of InstaRanker can do? Anybody ready? I'm ready. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share this screen again, and I'm gonna bring you over to the screen we were looking at, and I'm gonna bring up uh, InstaRanker. InstaRanker is a tool to build to boost your Instagram activity. Um, it is I'm gonna go through this incredibly well. You can specify geolocation, schedule times, activity logs, a lot of information. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in and show you specifically. Is there anybody that is having a hard time seeing my screen? Because I want to make sure you can see everything. So I've added my Curry W. Russell account. So this has been running now for approximately 25 days. 25 days. In 25 days, I have liked, this tool has automatically liked 2,283 likes commented 1,090 comments. Oh, I apologize, my total, this is just on this time running, I apologize. It's like 17,331 pictures, uh, 6,960 comments, followed 3,090 people, 3,960 people, unfollowed 2,873 people, and direct messaged 843 people. Guys, I didn't do anything. I literally created a system that I'm about to show you and set it and forget it. So how did I do it? We're gonna go into the settings and I'm about to show you. You can add multiple Instagram accounts. So you can have this running across multiple pl platforms at the same time. Just if you have two or three different cha uh, channels, you can set this up in two or three different niche markets and run this all at the same time. So. I'm going to hit the stop button so I can control a little bit more of this stuff. I'm going to hit the stop button and it's refreshing. And so this gives you the ability to target your activity. A speed control, which if you've never used a bot before and it's the very first time and you have less than a thousand followers in, in Instagram, you want to make sure this is set to a low setting so you don't mess up your your face the, the facebook so in the activity time frame set it to slow or normal and i'm, I'm going to go back over a lot of these things there is a, an amazing amount of tips that they have added in this tool specifically for you 
So for me, I'm going to put my glasses on. I can't even see this. For me, I put a list of tags like fitness, workout, vitamins, vitamin shop, multivitamins, vitamins and minerals, uh, vitamin shop. These were just ones that I was playing with and got these results. Just, this is just playing with this thing and set up. You can add tons of tags. You can search for tags like uh, fishing. And it will literally show you the, the hashtags that are fishing hashtags. My, my internet is running slow. So now we have fishing day, fishing life. You could select all of these and now add those into the group. I could put in here fitness. and hit fitness and it's gonna show me all of the fitness tags that it could, not all of them, but the top fish fitness tags that you can use. So 320 million uh, activity on, on fitness, 57 million, 39 million. So you can see it's the highest ranked words in the hashtags. Julia's got, got a comment, huh, Saint? Let me, let me uh, you can unmute Julia. I am loving this information. I wondered if you might be able to make your screen a little larger. Is that better? Is that good? Yes, thank you so much. I was having yeah. trouble. <laughs> yeah, I, have, I have moments myself. <laughs> so you can target literally specific users specific keyword tags, locations, and if you mouse over the question mark, it tells you every single thing you need to know. Target media likers. Every time somebody likes your media, it will go try to target those people who liked your stuff automatically. Target media commenters, people who comment on your things, it's going to go target those people to send them likes and comments and, and automate this stuff. Guys, this is one of easily the most powerful tool that I've personally ever used. And you can even schedule photos. So let's say that you've got a giant list of, you know, motivational images or posts that you wanted to post, but you don't want to just spam your Instagram channel. Maybe you want to make it post once a day. So if you came in here and you put 30 images, you could come in here and click to upload the image, drag eight pictures at a time right here work put all the description all your hashtags put it all in the images right here at one time set your schedule and instantly have an automated posting tool for your instagram at the at all in this at once this right here is it, it, this is the stupid part that i that i absolutely it's just am dumbfounded by the ability to create comments that automatically go on people's profiles, and, and I'm gonna show you in some of mine if you're already reading them, I always end them with, let's connect, DM me. What's your secret? DM me soon. This is good stuff. I'd love to chat and make new friends. Hey, I really like this. Thanks for sharing with us. Wow, this is incredible. All of my automated comments could be literally used for any type of image. It could be a picture of a butterfly. Hey, this is great stuff. <laughs> it could be a car. What's your secret? DM me soon. Uh, your work is impressive. Could I get one minute of your time? DM me. Hey, did you take this picture? I've seen some great stuff lately, but this is excellent. Just wondering if this is your only G uh, Instagram channel. DM me. Literally, I'm creating um, a a what's the word, attraction marketing formula here where I leave a question at the end that drives people to answer the question. And let me tell you, they do. They message me all the time. I get I, that I, these responses have been fabulous. And by the way, you can just put anything here. And there's one more cool feature about this that is gonna be for, uh, for those people who are a little bit more advanced. If you have an advanced bone in your body and you've ever seen spin text before, spin text allows you to create a giant message that says, like, and it shows an example in here, I like, love, want, need. So those are, those are in brackets. 
to get have in brackets a new fo photo game book or so it would literally look like i love to have a new photo i need to get a new game it will spin your messages and use the individual words so that you could literally create one message that could be used hundreds of times without having the system think you're sending the exact same message over and over and over again. Spin text might be my most favorite thing on the internet because you can just you can just send messages over and over and over again. And you can create those in here. So follow the directions if you're going to use this tool. You have follow and unfollow settings. So don't follow the same user. The system will automatically not attempt to follow somebody you're already following. Like only people who have five to 10 posts after the follow. Don't follow private users. You can mute followed profiles. Unmute people. So you can set this to be uh, the unfollowed sources InstaRanker. Unfollow after three days. So if somebody doesn't follow you back, you can set it so it'll automatically unfollow them. Get rid of these people. Unfollow who don't follow me. So the unfollow rules are set in here. Locations. I got United States, Miami, Florida, Chicago, Illinois, Florida, Texas, Illinois, Indiana. You can put in here as many addresses or locations as you want. I've kind of learned as a strategy not just to use a whole country because when people tag their posts and stuff where they're at, they don't just say United States. They'll say the specific location. So you want to get it a lot more like if you live in Baltimore, like I know Julia does, you can literally put in here every surrounding town of Baltimore and, and, and Washington, D.C. In the, in the Nova area, right? Is that, wait, no, it is Nova, right? So yeah, you can literally, whatever it is, it's, you know what I'm talking about. So you can actually put that in, in those surrounding towns and it's literally going to target all of the people who are on Instagram in those regions. Unbelievably powerful. Usernames, and if you guys know the business that I'm doing, you'll see why I have these usernames. GNC Livewell, Vitamin Shop, Vitamin Shop Phoenix, Vitamin Shop Laverne, Vitamin Shop Colorado Springs, Vitamin Shop Yuma. Literally, I'm targeting all of their customers. <laughs> so I'm literally putting in my, my absolute competition's target market. You can add tons and tons of usernames in here, up to 50 usernames separated by a comma. Blacklist, these are gonna, I'm not even gonna show them on my screen. These are gonna be automatically, you know, bad words, any cuss words that you don't wanna have in your, in your screen, things that you don't wanna search for. Auto stop, so if you want, don't want this to run, Throughout, you know, specific hours, remember how I showed you that Instagram has a high viewership at certain times of the day. Let's say that you don't want this to run um, be between the hours of 8 p.m. and 7 p.m., 7 a.m., and you only want it to run during the daytime. You can specify that. You can specify it to automatically stop if there's so many likes, automatically stop on the counters. It's incredible what the options that you can do. Advanced filters, media type, any photos, videos. If you want to only do something with photos or you only want to do stuff with videos, you can put that in there. The minimum number of likes. If you don't want to be the first person to like something, if you want to be like, make sure there's 200 likes on a picture so that it's a highly engaged image, you can specify 200 here. Maximum likes. If it has a thousand likes or more and you don't want to comment any more on their post, Put a thousand or more. Media age, any, I always, actually, I really like this to put it like three days so that you're, so you're absolutely getting newer content and you're not just going into super old content. Like it's like you're a predator, right? Like you, who, who here on Facebook always gets somebody that comments on a picture that's like nine years old and you're like, what are you doing going through my pictures, you crazy person? Yeah, I, I'm the only person. Okay. All right. <laughs> so. So you, you have so many options in the advanced filters that specify specific things that you can do with your profile. And if you're confused by any of it, any of it, 
my friend who created this absolutely put the help circle, the question mark, with exact details of what this means and the recommendation. So if you are confused, always click or look, mouse over the little question mark and it tells you the recommended settings, okay? Don't allow yourself to be confused. Do not allow yourself to be confused when all of the information is in here, okay? It's really, really clear. Um, it even says things use with caution and it, spe it specifically tells you why. Use it with caution because it can slow down or completely stop your activity because of the limited um, engagement by using specific features together. So if you're using something like tag and tag, if you have a tag filter and a tag uh, search and you're filtering all the tags out and you're only looking for these certain ones, it can slow down your activity. Location and tag, let's say that you're, you're looking for Washington DC, but you're looking for the tag uh, Baltimore Ravens. Can you see the difference here in that you won't find many engagements from people in DC for the Baltimore Ravens? You, you wanna make sure that those tags and locations match up. Usernames and tags, same way. Now, oh, Miss, Miss Julie, go ahead, I'm you. Actually, Rhonda has a question for you. Okay, I couldn't see anybody else, I'm sorry, go ahead. Hey, Curry, <clears throat> so your friend developed this? Did they used to have this under a different name? No, they didn't have this as a different name, but the, the other company was called Instagress. Yes, I knew because I used that years ago before it got shut down. So did I. It was my most favorite tool ever. I used it was amazing. And my and this is because this I'm looking at this and it's like exactly the same that I didn't know a new one came out. This is amazing. Yes, so my friend Bashar is actually on this Zoom right now and his signal usually sucks. So he developed this uh, about a year and a half ago and I've been working with him for quite a while and I'm actually developing the training platform for this product. So the, guys, I, I will tell you, I've never been more impressed with the quality of the product, the results alone. The results alone of this product are amazing. I mean, I'm specifically targeting just vitamin shop, essentially, and getting thousands and thousands of messages and comments out there. So on top of this, on top of all the features that we've gone over, you even can look at your activity logs. Now, mind you, because of the way Instagram works, don't be alarmed at some of the results that may come up, but it's all automated. So. It, like here's a new for you, the vitamin shop, and I liked it. So you can see that it was a heart. I messaged this person, a direct message to new follower. I commented on this picture. I liked this picture. I removed this person, as a, unfollowed that person. I direct messaged that person. You can see that it is absolutely doing all of it for me. I didn't have to do, touch any of it. I'm gonna go back and show the statistics. Who's ready to use this product already? All right, I'm gonna, in the chat at the end of this, I'm dropping, Curry, yes. Curry, you had, you had me at hello. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's well, go. Dude, well, hello, <laughs> it's me. All right, so the activity static statistics. You can see that my followers, is this thing still loading? It's still loading all the information. Come on, come on, come on. I love this thing that it actually shows you the, the top media in your, in your Instagram, top commented media in your Instagram. I never knew that uh, a piece of meat on a plate would be the top thing in my entire, I mean, who, who knew, who knew? I, I got a message here, my, there it is, there it came up. So as you can see from Fep <laughs> followers, when I started using this, guys, it jumped way up. My use, here's about the time that I started using it. So January 23rd. And as you can see, my comments and likes are skyrocketing. Okay? 
comments, 6,960 comments. You guys remember the last time you put 6,000 comments ever on anybody's stuff in two weeks? Has anybody got the time to comment 6,000 times ever? 17,000 likes. I mean, that's, yes, Julie. I know this is going to be a really basic question, but I'm going to ask it anyway, because I, I don't know. I, I'm embarrassed. I'm putting myself out there, but I use Instagram a lot, but I thought the whole idea, and I know I'm wrong now, was, was to have followers, but not be following people. Is that, am I wrong? I'm completely confused. Well, there's, there's, there's different lob logic pieces to that. Like you've got people who want to have followers. And so what they, there's a lot of people who do this follow unfollow method where you follow a whole bunch of stuff and then you unfollow them real fast. So they're still following you. And so they do that over and over and over again. It, it, the more you engage on people's stuff, and you're they're going to start following you like you this creates that engagement level that most people never have and right. so they want to see what you're doing does that make sense yeah it does because on my one that i've been doing for the longest period of time embarrassingly i've never gotten past 740 followers don't so I'm like, okay, well, what am I missing? So I just kind of backed off. And then on my other one that I just started, um, I'm getting a ton of engagement from people, but only from the same like 150 people. And right. I haven't been able to break out. So this is a breakout tool. This is. And so this is actually going to show you even the best time that you get engagement on your post. So for me on Monday, I have, you know, 15 to 30 engagers that profile just on Monday, it started slowing down again, slowed it down, slowed it down. And then on, I uh, got a little bit of a, a upgrade on uh, Tuesday at 10 a.m. and then Wednesday at 6 p.m. So I know that my, my area, I could post in these times and get a little bit more engagement. Does that make sense? And every, once this thing starts reading your profile and it starts learning, your your goes through your statistics it's going to start getting smarter and smarter and smarter does that make does everybody understand that okay so curry so so there's an ai on the back end of this right that generates the activity so in regards to comments that you put out there i saw that you had a list so how does it discern which is the appropriate uh response it, it actually doesn't, Daryl. It's actually pretty pretty random. It'll drop. That's why you need to create um, comments that could be used in any type of picture. Okay. And you really need to really put some depth in depth thought of that. Like, um, if what what if your target market was the word uh, pretty, right? Like something stupid, like pretty. Don't don't that the, the word stupid. The word pretty isn't stupid. So please don't say think that I said that meant that. The point is, the word pretty could be used on everything from a flower to a child, right? So if you had a comment that was inappropriate for the picture of a child and not the picture of a flower, you want to make sure that your comments specifically could be used for anything. Does that make sense, Daryl? Okay, I'll just have to see a sample of what you've done. To, to kind of work to unfog me. I'll, I'll bring I'll bring that back up right now. So, thanks for sharing. Right, that's a that could be used for literally anything. Uh, this is good stuff. Love to chat and make a new friend. Isn't it great what we can share on Instagram? Wow, this is incredible. Uh, I'm blown away at how great this is. DM me. I'd love to give you something. Uh, DM me. I'd love to give you a three hundred dollar gift certificate for one minute of your time. Anybody heard that before? Just wondering if you'd help with a project I'm working on. DM me, there's something in it for your time. It could go on anything. It's gone on the picture of a car. I can, I mean, I've got, I know where some of these comments have gone and it's like, man, the system is just finding the hashtags, finding the words that I put in here and commenting everywhere. So don't be worried about the result, about the action, be worried about the results. Does that make sense? Is everybody with me? I got you. Cool. So guys, InstaRanker, it, that, that's it. 
this automated tool is unbelievably simple. As you can see, if you're gonna get started, it's nine, it's ten dollars a month if you go if you're gonna use this thing. If you want to buy it for the year, it knocks it down to eighty dollars for the year, like the whole year. And by the way, you can make this thing run for two or three years on this amount of time, okay? Because it actually is counting down actual time. So if you only let it use it eight hours a day, that's three, that's only uh, a third of a day. So you could literally make this thing run for three years, letting it run on eight hours a day for 80 bucks. Does that make sense? I think it doesn't make sense. I think Bashar is crazy and should charge like $4,000 for this thing. But he's, he's nuts and he's like, I'm gonna charge 80 bucks. 80 bucks for a year of time to, to run this tool. Does that, everybody get that? Who wants this tool? Is there a two year discount? No, it's $80, Jeff. <laughs> is, there, is there a five year discount? <laughs> there, is, there is not a five year discount. And, and I, I'm gonna leave it right at it's $80. So is there an affiliate program? Yeah, of course. What yeah, I will tell you if you are uh you, yes, there is. And I'm I'm we'll worry about that later. Because you're definitely gonna want to share it with people. I know you will. You once you put once you put your account in here and follow the instructions and create some content and see what it can do for you, you're going to want to share this with other people. Let me let me stop my share for just a second. So it, let me let me open it up real quick. This, who has any questions about this at the moment? Miss Karen, can you unmute? I'll I'll let you. There you go. Hey Curry, um, after just going through Manage Flitter being shut down on Twitter, even though I wasn't using it very effectively, and then Instagram too. What is different about this one that's going to keep it from being shut down too? I can tell you that I was there when Instagress shut down. I was there. Like the day is shut down. I, I had a tear and everything. Like I used it. Karen, I used it every day. Every, every day. And um, it, it was the, the first tool I was really upset that, that shut down. And when I found this, when actually when Bashar actually found me, um, he's been running this for two years. He's been running this for a while. It's since it's not going to shut down. It's, I don't know what he's doing differently, but um, it, it's doing a really, really good job. So uh, it's going to be around for quite a while. Great. Anybody I else? have a question. Go ahead, Becky. Um, I came in a little late, so if you covered this, I'm sorry. Did you say you can run it on more than one account with one uh, subscription? Yes, ma'am. Cool. Okay. Thank you. I'm excited to see this back because I loved Instagress too. That was the first tool I ever used and it was amazing. So <clears throat> the only thing I would say, I don't know how you did it, Curry, but when I first started out, I just had it going a little bit slower to not flag yourself. Yeah, I, because I've got 11,500 followers, mine said it fast and it's, bl it's just blasting. It's blasting. So, but if you, do, if you have less than 500 followers or less than a thousand followers, start at the slow or normal and let the system, because what happens is Instagram's watching your activity. And just like Facebook, they will flag your account if you're doing things wrong and block you. And so you wanna make sure that you're doing things a little bit more on the up and up at the beginning. So when, before we jump into the next tool, which I'm actually more excited about than, than anything else at the moment, um, well, not, not more than anything else, but is there any more questions about InstaRanker? Oh, Brian, what you got? You're muted, my friend. Okay, just a quick question. Uh, it's already been asked, uh, but we didn't get any information. Uh, a few of us will be interested in the affiliate site. Can you give any details on that? Uh, yes. So, so once you are a member, once you have access, it, this has actually got an affiliate program through JVZoo. So let's get your account set up. And then once you have that account set up, you can go in and get it approved through the JVZoo system. Does that make sense? 
By the way, uh, we'll talk about another thing at another time for the people who decide that they want to share this. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Any, anybody else have any last questions about the functionality of InstaRanker before I really blow your mind? Curry, now, if, do you know do you know why Instagress got shut down? I I don't know. I mean, I could I can look at it. We can Google it, but it, it had everything to do with a complication with Instagram and the naming, and there was some some complication. So I, I just know <laughs> this has been up for a long time. I'm not I'm not the person who worries about things like that. I just keep running. I just keep finding more tools and keep going. Like I, I I'm a I'm a I'm a tool user. You guys know that. You guys who've been around me for a long time, I am a tool guy. So some people even call me a tool. I don't know what that I, I thought it was a positive thing. I thought it was, but apparently it's not, apparently. So Hey Curry. Yes. Well, Cur could you send me that link? I'm on the road traveling and I'm fixing to lose service here in about another five miles. I'm going to miss out on everything else you have to say. It's, it's going to be in the chat group that I created for everybody. So I'm going to drop everything in that so that everybody gets it at the same time. Is that cool? Thank you. Yes. Because yeah, I, I didn't want to put, <clears throat> I didn't want to send my links to everybody individually because Facebook would have flagged that, flagged the link. So I wanted to do it in one place so everybody had access and nobody missed it. So thanks for all. Understood. All right. So, so Curry, so Curry, so Curry, before you go. Yep. Curry, before you go uh, to the next tool, will you be doing a, a, like another huddle on uh, best practice to set up the, uh, the InstaRanker? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm actually developing the training platform, the videos that actually walk you through step by step each piece. So okay. better than a huddle, you'll have my videos inside the system under support uh, and under tutorials every single day. So you'll, if you can't figure out something, go into tutorials, you'll see my videos there. Um, I've already finished, actually I got two more videos to produce because he added two more tools to the next tool but I've already finished all the, the trainings for the other system. So I'll be working on okay. Insta Rankers over the next couple of days and get those videos to uh, my friend Bashar and we'll get all that set up. Mr. Right, Fox, you. did you have a question, sir? Uh, yes, sir. Um, can you only target one niche or are you able to put the hashtags in for several niches at once? That, anything you put in there, man. Okay. And, right. and you can literally put a whole bunch of hashtags in there. Okay, thank you, I appreciate it. Becky, calm down over there with the, those weapons you got. All right, that's it. One, two, three. That's y'all done. Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? To have your mind blown? What you're about to see on this tool is for those who are ultra green, people who really like analytics. This is going to just blow your mind. For those of you who don't care about analytics and and you just want to run the bot, get the bot, be happy, do what you want to do. I'm gonna tell you. This tool that I'm about to show you has literally, you, you, you have the ability to beat your competition with this tool. Like if you know who your competitors are, you know who you, the, the people that you wish that you could create, the content that they're doing, the hashtags that they're using, what if, let's, let's do this. What if your competitor was Nike? And you wanted to see what hashtags Nike used on their entire profile at one time. Every hashtag that they've ever used, does anybody think that would be helpful? What, what, if, what, what, what if you were able to not just download all their hashtags, but know specifically what images were the best ranked images. Do you think that might help you guide your development of your Instagram ch channel? Oh, okay, let me, let me, let me throw something else out here. What, what if you could take your hashtags, the ones that you use primarily, and put them into a system where it actually showed you that you're using the wrong hashtag because they're just getting buried. You can actually see a statistics of daily use of those hashtags. You, let me tell you, what I'm about to show you is about to just blow your mind. So this is my, this is my new favorite tool because you can just get so much stuff. 
So this is gonna be a brief overview because I've already created all the videos that explains everything, it walks you through it. Is anybody ready to see this? All right, okay, so I got some excited people. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this up. And here we I go. I might not look like I'm excited, but I am. <laughs> I like the yellow background. I can't even tell if you're alive half the time. All right, here we go, guys, this is it. Welcome to Viral Caption. Nobody cheered or nothing. Thanks a lot, guys. So, yeah, there you go. Thanks, Dale. <laughs> All right, guys. R vir viral caption is absolutely the best time way to find viral content in any niche, literally any niche. It's going to analyze it. It's going to you're going to know how to literally beat the competition. And I'm just going to dive right in. I'm going to log into my account. This, this one's fun, guys. This one's fun for any, so you have the ability to search for, search hashtags by hashtag username, um, the viral hashtag search for, so let's say that you wanna see what the best images are, the, the most viral images, and I gotta do something very, very clean here. So I gotta do something unbelievably clean. So let's do flowers. Let's just do viral media. We're gonna, you can actually filter by likes, comments, photos, videos, or albums. So if we're gonna do engagement, we're gonna hit search and we're gonna see in literally real time, if you went, if you see this 143 million, if I went to Instagram, uh, gram.com and I got rid of that and I hit enter and I looked up flowers can y'all still see this screen? Y'all see Instagram? And I look up hashtag flowers. It's going to tell me there's 142.8. Instant, you are, have 143 million. This is literally instant, like real time aware, like it's bringing you the best. And it calculates all of the images and this one image has got 23,000 um, likes, 218 comments. This one's got 14,000. And it's got all the information about that image. So you can literally find that image specifically on Instagram. It'll bring it right up. You can see all the information about it. And inside here, you can even save the image. So if you wanted to get it at full screen, so if you wanted to use this image, like, uh, repurpose this image for your account because it was such a high engagement, maybe put some words on it, give credit to whoever posted it before, you can save the image. One of my favorite things inside of viral caption is you can edit the image. So if you wanted to save this or reuse it, because you know that it already has massive engagement, you can add a filter to it, just like the filters that are on the uh, uh, on Instagram itself. I can hit apply. We can draw on it, and I'm drawing with that's helpful. Here we go. You can draw on it. I can hit apply. I can add a sticker, and you can actually expand these little starbursts if you wanted to put one on there. You can hit apply. Uh, and then I can save it and it'll save it to my computer and then I can reuse that image on Instagram Just you know re redo it. You, does everybody get that? Is anybody confused on the editor? Uh, it's just it's just a simple simple editor and so you can look up the most viral Image for your niche market. Does everybody understand how powerful that is to know what the most heavily engaged images are so you can know what types of images that you can post or repurpose. Maybe you're looking for viral users. You wanna see who is the, um, the most engaged captions with that profile. So if I'm gonna look up Curry Russell, Curry W. Russell, which is mine, and I'm gonna hit search. You guys remember the most engaged, most uh, images that I had. Watch this thing come up. 71 posts, 11,000 followers. I got 7,000 people following me. They ain't never talking to me. I don't know where they're at, but I got 7,000 of them following me. Or 11,000 following me. All right, drop it in here. 
459 hearts on that one, 90 on the doggy on Raven. And it's still climbing. This one jumped over 681, 629. So it's going to show you what, like if you have a competitor, if you have a competitor, you can type in their name and see what the highest engaged stuff is. Is there anybody that's like me and you have a, a hashtag that you love to use like hustle? Anybody like to use a specific hashtag all the time? Success, um, millionaire, something goofy. Does anybody do that? Does anybody use a hashtag over and over and over again? Wouldn't it be nice to find related hashtags, hashtags that go along with that? So let's, let's look at viral hashtags and look at related hashtags. So if I'm gonna look up hustle, I can now hit the search bar and it's gonna give me a, the list of a whole bunch of hustle hashtags. And did you know that you can put 30 hashtags on an image, right? Here's a tip. If you have less than a thousand users, only put about five to 10. Don't put 30. Facebook will think, or not Facebook, Instagram will think that you're spamming the system. Don't overload your Instagram, your hashtags until later on. Does that, everybody understand that? It, it's, it's just one more little tip that you can make Instagram stop showing too many things. But so you can actually take hustle and there's hustle 100 with the with the emoji hustle quotes hustle square the barber hustle switch and hustle hustle heart family hustle hustle hard and then it comes down here top related hashtags on instagram does everybody understand how cool this is that you can literally come in here and find related hashtags so if i was posting a picture of vacation and i wanted to see what the related uh, hashtags for vacation were. Now we got vacation, vacations, vacation with a palm tree, vacation style, instant travel gram, instant travel, holiday, tourist traveling. You now can just come in here and hit the copy button and paste those directly into, and by the way, you can do this all on mobile. You can literally pull this up on your mobile, copy your hashtags, drop them right in your Instagram post and be done. Does everybody like that? Is there anybody that doesn't like that? All right. Guys, this goes over a lot of stuff. So clean duplicated hashtags will literally take a text file. Does anybody keep a text file with all your hashtags? Uh, I do. I, and, I, and I literally can now drop that text message or that uh, file in here, 30, 29 tags at a time. And if I have the same hashtag in, in my file, It'll, it'll, dry, it'll delete the ones and produce it out here, the, the, the ones you don't want. All right, who wants to see something really cool? Extract profile hashtags. So if, let's say that you wanted to see all of the hashtags that Foot Locker used. Anybody ever been to Foot Locker? Everybody's been to Foot Locker. This is going to take a minute because it's actually going to run through and literally capture real time all of the hashtags that the, the person Foot Locker has ever done, ever used. I know this is the, the slow part. Sorry. If you're actually using this for, for fun, you'll see the value of this really, really fast. Come on. Come on, hurry up. Curry, I've never been a big user of hashtags because I don't really understand the value. Can you explain a little bit to someone like me that doesn't really get hashtags? <laughs> yes, hashtags on Instagram specifically allow your post to show up in keyword searches. So if you're, uh, let's say that you're doing something in uh, a health and wellness company, and you've got people who are looking for certain things in uh, fitness or health or whatever, and you want to use a hashtag like fitness so that it'll show up in, in, the, in the giant list, like I did over here with flowers, right? If somebody searched for flowers, all of these are going to show up in real time. And if you, if you watch, I'm going to refresh this. 
and it's going to do this again, and you're going to see all of these pictures change because people are post. Well, thank God. Listen, I'm a liar. Apparently, I'm going to be a liar today. It, typically, these pictures, the top posts would change, but apparently, people ain't posting flowers constantly. If you want to see one that changes every couple seconds, it's fitness. And it, but don't go there and look at fitness because it is not appropriate for work half the time. So that's why they're doing it. So it, it's, it's constant. It's very ridiculously constant. So here we got Foot Locker Philly, Max and Maya, Mavericks, Knicks, Champion, Rockets, AM for Debt, uh, uh, Detroit now, I guess, uh, Discovery Your Air, Just Do It, Curry. Somebody's hashtagging my name. That is ridiculous. Hashtag and Curry. That's ridiculous. Spurs, Under Armour, Speed Factory. But this is literally the number of hashtags they've used. T total. They've not used a massive amount of hashtags. But do you see how that's pretty, pretty usable? Like you can gather some good information about what your competitor may be attempting to do and who they're getting in front of. Guys, the most extract featured hashtags. So if you were looking for the hashtags from all the featured photos in your area, like flowers, and you can literally do that and it will show you from these featured hashtags. This, let's see if this one has any hashtags. Um, I don't see any hashtags in that picture. This one's got a whole bunch. This one's got a whole bunch of hashtags. So we're going to see this Lecheria, Venezuela model modeling. You're going to see that pop up in just a second. Look at this. You're going to see all this crazy stuff pop up in here. Where's Lecheria at? There's fitness. See, somebody's trying to put their flower in fitness. Um, but yeah, it's going to show you the, the hashtags from the top posts that are viral. That, guys, beyond all of that, the most important thing in this thing is this growth report. So let's say that you want to look up three keywords and know whether or not to use them. Um, let's do fitness, health, and uh, weight loss. So we're going to hit search. All right. So da daily average post count. This is how often the specific hashtag is used on an average daily basis. Guys, the word fitness is literally posted 259,000 times a day. So if you post using the word hashtag, do you think it's going to get seen by a bunch of people or do you think it's going to get buried really, really fast? Who, 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 wants, to, who wants to take a guess? Is it, you, you're, going, you're going to get buried. Buried, buried. So you don't want to use words that are just going to get buried. Health, 78,000 times a day. So, so when you scroll down, you're going to see related keywords in their absolute highest level. And so if you see words between 1,000 and 4,000 times a day, you're going to get much higher engagement using these types of words so what you can do is, so you can uh, clear all this stuff out, clear all the fitness keywords out. And let's say that you wanted to pick uh, fitness models, fitness coach, fitness trainer, fitness gear, health and body, healthy lunch, healthy diet, healthy-ish. Um, and then come over here to weight loss, whatever that is. Select a few of these things in this group. Actually, I wouldn't even choose things in the couple hundred. I'd choose a couple in the, the lower thousands. And you, remember, you can click about 30, but it puts them right here for you in this group. So all you got to do is hit copy, and now you can go paste those directly onto your you, – you do the research. You find the best keywords to use at, in your niche market and take those keywords and apply them and start seeing your engagement rise and rise and rise. Somebody got a question? I hear somebody off mute, so I didn't know if anybody had a question. So, here's, so let's take let's take this group of I, I only got a few here, so I'm going to take this group and I'm going to show you the next part of this tool. 
Hell, the hashtag batch report. So you can actually now see up to 30 hashtags at the same time and get the actual reporting numbers for those hashtags. So we're gonna bring those up. And it's now gonna show you that same kind of information from all of your keywords and see what ones actually give you the best results or could give you the best results because if this is posting only 1800 times a day, that's actually not very many in Instagram world. It's compared to 200,000 or a million times a day. These, these are, you're gonna actually get a little bit more activity. Does everybody understand that? Just by knowing your numbers, you will have a better output. This is the same kind of thing that really you could use for YouTube. You don't want to use keywords that are overly used, but you want to use them um, specific keywords that are that give you a hot, lot higher engagement, but they, that's still a, a hot word. Anybody have questions about that? Any, anybody at all? Any questions? I was taking a drink break there. All right, let's go right into banned hashtags. So has anybody ever posted an Instagram picture and you had everything on there right and you just didn't get any engagement? Has anybody had anything like that? You can unmute and talk to me. I can't, I can't see anybody. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. So sometimes you can actually find if a hashtag is banned. So we're going to, what banned means is that Instagram literally I, listen guys, the word skateboarding is banned. It is a word that's gonna be shadow banned in the background. You're not even gonna know it's banned. They're not gonna tell you. And so the, if you take your hashtags that you use often, you drop them in here, it's gonna tell you these are okay, the good ones. It would say don't use. So just for instance, we're gonna put in some ones that I know are banned. Like if anybody is in direct sales, uh, how about hashtag Lavelle? How about hashtag skateboarding? And I'm, I know these two, so I'm just gonna hit search. And so once it goes through here, it's actually gonna come up here and tell you, oh, these are blocked hashtags, don't use them. If you use hashtags that are, if your hashtags are in your results, that picture or the photo or, you, or video won't be as highly engaged because Instagram's not going to show it off to people. Does that make sense? Cool. Find banned posts. So let's say that you want to check your entire Instagram channel to see if you have images that have banned posts. And by the way, I have purposefully left skateboarding in mind. I'm going to hit the search bar. And this takes a little bit of time. <laughs> oh, you want to do yours? That'd be fun to do. Hold on. Yeah. Let me, hold on, Saint. Let me. Let me my, my engagement went down dramatically. Um, when I first signed up for Instagram, I had close to 700 people follow me in like the first week. And that, that dropped down. I think I'm only at like four or something now. And not not many people are engaging in my post anymore. So I, I don't what, know. What you're what using? Uh, DNA Nutrition and the number 23. Um, here we go. Let's see what happens. See what we got. Let's see what we got, guys. Man, this is already a long, long webinar. I should have broke this up in two. So skipped zero hashtags, zero hashtags, zero hashtags. Here's one's got green. Good job. Zero hashtags, zero hashtags. You want to know why your engagement's down? Cause I'm not hashtagging. You ain't got a single hashtag, man. <laughs> you, you, okay. you, uh, you look, you had 31 likes on this one. You had 6% user, user engagement, only 2% on none, 3% had a little bit better for some pictures and some green stuff. Guys, and you can look at your images and see what's getting the best results with this. This is a research tool that's gonna allow you to create bigger and better things with your with your profile does that does anybody does everybody understand how powerful this is mm -hmm. 
I, I know analytics isn't very exciting for some people, but for me, it allows me to, to, to start developing a bigger and better plan for my business. Hey, look, you had one there, 24 likes on that one. None, oh, look at that, five likes. You had 28, you had a good, it might be the colors, it might be something in that, that you, maybe you had some words in it. See, you were doing real good. Four, 31 on this one, hashtags, hashtags. I think you stopped hashtagging, man. Okay. You you gotta yeah. get you gotta get your hashtags back up. All right, viral users. If you want to see who in your niche market, who is the the biggest in your niche market? So bicycles. Is that how you spell bicycles? How do you spell bicycles? B I C Y. That's it. So I'm gonna hit search. I've never searched for bicycles in my life, but right now. Santa Cruz has got 800,000 followers. Canyons, 583,000 followers. So why would you want to know who's, the, who's your com competition if you were in bicycles? Because now you can take can Canyon and you wanted to see what you could ex extract all of Canyon's hashtags. Now you can start seeing what your competitors are doing. Did anybody's mind just get blown just now that where you could literally go to your, find who the highest competitor is for you. So for, if I can't stop this while it's in the mid search and let's restart the page. But you can do this by find viral users by niche and find you there. So look at that, there's all Canyons uh, in hashtags, their top hashtags. Find viral commenters. You want to see who's actually engaging in content. Let's say bicycles again. Let's see who the top commenters are. Uh, here's a no Ellie belly. Uh, so you could literally go and research all of these people. I'm not going to click on them because I don't know what they, what they got on their page. Is that, but does everybody understand? Oh, you got Mr. Proximity, my friend. Go ahead. Okay, so are we able to use people's names um, in the hashtags without getting in trouble? What do you mean? Like I, I seen one of the hashtags was up there that it had hashtag uh, Les Brown. Yeah. So are we able to use people's names in Absolute, our? Absolutely, because you want to attract people of like thing, right? So if you're gonna. Let's say that you're trying to attract other network marketers and you do hashtag Eric Worre, right? Everybody in that world knows Eric Worre and they're gonna, if they're looking for him, they might find your content. Okay. Is that cool? Yes, sir. All right, guys, the last tool, which is just an add-on, um, oh, actually there's two tools and one of them's way more complicated. It's really for agencies. Um, is the report builder. Uh, let's say that you are doing social media marketing for people and you want to give them a report of their activity. Like if you want at the, you know, hey, listen, Tom, I, I, you got a hardware store. I, here's all the, the words, the, the niche keywords that you should be using. Here's some of the top images. You can put your company's name in here. Don't use that company, holy crap. Um, put in here your website, your co company title, It'll create a PDF analysis report. You can add different sections. So this, this top section should be, could be top keywords for your market. Uh, this one could be your competitors keywords. And you can put all the images, you can put everything directly in these little forms. It'll create a PDF uh, branded report and you can give that to your uh, your your customers does everybody does that make sense because this this viral caption this is going to be really really good if you do social media marketing if you are helping people with their marketing this tool will allow you to do research for them and uh, that, that's that's all I'm going to say about that it, it, it has the ability to do a lot of stuff for people who really want to go deep 
stylish caption. This is just the, the cute add-on to this tool that I really think it's funny. The other day I posted, I love my wife. Who did who saw that? Anybody see that? And and I hit the stylish caption and it allows you to create fun little like I like that one. So like little cursive text. And you can copy that. And when you go out to say Facebook, so if I bring up my Facebook page. You can drop that directly onto Instagram or Facebook. And as you can see, it leaves it in the font style. And now I can save it or hit share it. And it's actually going to be shared with that funky font style. How cool is that? So that's a built in add on to viral caption. And there's a whole bunch of the font styles that are like that. I have a question, Curry. Yes, ma'am. Is there a way to um, do all this work on Instagram, do these posts and things like that from your desktop, or is it only from your phone? <laughs> there is so a way. Is there a simulator or some emulator or something like that that we can use? No, see, Chrome will allow you to do it on its own. So there's, so if you do a, on my on my laptop, it's Function F12, and this is not. I shouldn't even be showing this, but I'm going to. So here, here is Instagram. I'm going to bring up my Instagram channel. So this is, so I'm right here. I'm going to do a function F12 again in Chrome. And then if I click this, um, go to console. How did I do this before? Right here. So, uh, and then I bring this over. And I say that I'm going to be on, you can actually specify what phone. How did I do this before? Bashar, I'm going to, I'm going to probably bring him in here a second because he's, he showed me this the other day. But when I hit function F12, I'm not on a Mac. I'm on a PC. When I do that, it gets a app manifest. Well, right, let, let me, Juliet, let me uh, get Julie, it better. Julie, Julie, if you're on a PC, you hit, you right click. Uh, hit inspect page and then you hit refresh and then it'll give you this tool all the all the navigation that you would have on your phone on top of Instagram. I'll call one of you guys later. Yeah, definitely do that. It, there's there's a way to do it and you can actually do this right from your phone. You can click the add button and actually send an image and do all this at the same time. There is a way. Okay. It's a little bit more complicated. Chrome Go ahead. Well, I need that. That's what's been holding me back on Instagram because I can't do it on my phone. Cool. You, you, hello. You, uh, hello. I hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so my, oh, before let me introduce my friend Bashar. Bashar is literally I don't even know what time of day it is. He, he's from from one of these amazing countries over in the the a far off land. Like he's he's Aladdin or something. He's been rubbing a magic lamp to create this incredible product viral caption so Bashar I know you, our, our connection is always a little weaker on zoom but can you hear me okay <laughs> okay yeah just to uh, just press f5 to refresh the page uh, to get uh, Instagram in your browser so I, I just needed to hit I had needed to hit f5, uh, yeah, f5. f5 so let me bring my f12 back up and get that here and Okay, are y'all still seeing my screen? You're not seeing it anymore. Uh, so I'm gonna bring it, hold on, hold on again. I'm gonna bring it back up. So I see that I'm on the, I'm gonna say that I'm on a pixel two and hit F5. There it is, there it is. So now he's, he's right. So if you guys can see, does everybody see this taco? Yes. Now I can click on the little plus sign and it'll bring up all my pictures and I can actually make a post. I think I'm up, I can make this post to this bird. I, I still don't know what you did. <laughs> so, so in Chrome, I went to the console section. So on, on mine, it, it, you, you have this option up here in the top right of Chrome and you can go to um, developer tools. Okay. Set more tools. 
developer tools. Does everybody see that? Okay, and then in the top left corner of developer tools is this toggle device option. And then you, in here, once you've got it, once you've got it, just hit refresh on that screen and it's going to toggle it right into the phone. So now I can click on these things, I can like stuff just as if I was on a phone. Does that make sense? And now we're recording this, you all can pull this up as much as you want. So I'm gonna get rid of that. So I'm gonna stop the share and we're gonna open it up for about five minutes of questions because I know that's a lot in a short period of time. Does anybody have questions? I know we've lost a lot of people, so. So what was the price of the second system or is that included? It's not included, it's entirely separate. Let me bring up the page, the page of prices. $47 million. <laughs> so, the price, so the prices are $30 for 30 days for the, for the research tool for viral, ca viral caption. If you're going to use it as an agency for a year is, is $200. Does that make sense? Everybody get that? So premium for half a year is going to be 149, 30 days is $29. So it, you do the math on using it for, for 12, 12 months and it's going to be a lot more than using it for a year at 199. Is that cool? Yes. Thank you. Yep. Let me stop the share again. Any other questions about that before, before we shut this thing down and I give you guys the links to get your copy? What are you cooking, Becky? That's what I want to know. I've never seen I am making a Mexican, let's see if I can, can you see it? Yeah, now we're going to put it on Instagram. <laughs> I'll be watching for it. I've been, I do, that's part of what I'm doing, so watch for it. Everybody feeling good about this? What did you like, what did you like better, Insta Ranker or, in, or Viral Caption? I think they're both very powerful. It makes sense to use them both simultaneously. Did you did you feel like I, I gave you more than enough information? Maybe even some strategies on how to use it a little bit clearly. Yeah, the information yeah but but I but I I know you live in West Virginia, so I'll come find you. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's hilarious. It's hilarious, guys. Is there any questions left that I can answer? Because I'm about to drop these links directly into that chat. Is everybody in the chat? Is, there, is everybody in that chat? Mm -hmm. I don't see a chat. You, well, hold on a second. If you're not in the chat, send, if you're not in the chat, send me. on Facebook. He's talking about the chat on Facebook. Yeah, the chat group I put in Facebook. Curry, is that where you're going to put a relay link as well? I mean, replay link as we, well? We can put that in there. Yeah, I'll, po I'll post this on, on Facebook in just a little bit. Thank you. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to put this right in that chat. Man, there's a lot of messages. Can I be added to the chat? No way, man. Send, hey, send me a message so I, so I don't forget, please. David, you're in it. I just checked. All right, he's as in it? As soon as he types in it, David, you'll see him. It'll pop up. All right. So, hey, I am, man. Oh, there's a lot of people who wanted a link and they didn't get a link. All right, guys. I'm going to shut this down. I'll drop the link. Get your copy of the software if you want it. There's no pressure whatsoever. Um, if you do want to become an affiliate of this and share it with other people, number one, use it first, be a product of the product, absolutely show people how it works for you, see your own growth. I don't, I mean, I'm not trying to sell this to make you an affiliate and, and then you go try to blast it all over the place. So does, does that make sense? I know, I know Bashar wants you to blast it everywhere so that we spread this far and wide, but I, but I definitely want you to use it yourselves and get incredible results. And here is the links. Ta-da!
I see Julie has seen them. Now they're running. They're going to get them. All right. Guys, thanks for being here. I appreciate all of you. Um, let me know if there's anything I can do to help you and go out there and make the biggest and best Instagram posts ever. Thanks, Curry. This was so good. Appreciate you, so Definitely very good. That was a little bit of wisdom. A little yeah. bit. Let's, I'm all, I only got a little bit. So I'm going to go spend some time with the family, and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. All right.